Depending on what exam board you do, there's only one month left until the start of the GCSE exam season. Without wasting a lot of time, here's how to study to get those top grades even if there's only one month left. The first thing you need to do is to sit down for 20 minutes and just figure out how you're going to study for each subject. A lot of people, including myself at some point, they just sit down and tell themselves, well, let me just study chemistry. They go straight in without figuring out what they actually need to do. They might flick through the textbook a bit, they'll get overwhelmed by content because they don't know a lot of it. They might do some questions, then they realize that they don't have the knowledge to answer those questions, so they just give up. Before you study anything, just sit down and for each subject, make a rough plan on how you're going to study for it. For example, for science subjects, I'll watch free science lessons videos while making flashcards, and then after that, I'll do PMT questions. For math, I'll watch the GCSE math tutor cover a topic that I found hard, and then I'll do a past paper. For English, I'll memorize these quotes, and then I'll do paper 2, question 3, for example. At the surface level, this might seem like you're wasting time. Why not use that 20 minutes to study instead? But by doing this once, before you begin any studying session, you're taking out all the doubt and uncertainty that can creep in when you study. When you sit down and you start studying, you won't ever get the thought of, should I really be doing this or should I do this instead? Instead, you'll have laser focus on studying that subject because you've already come to the conclusion that whatever you're doing at that point is the most optimal studying technique you could be doing. Speaking of optimal techniques, we don't have that much time left, meaning we can't be wasting time studying passively. When you sit down and study, each studying session has to be as efficient and optimal as possible. We do this by taking into account Pareto's principle, which states that 80% of the results will come from 20% of the action. It's the famous 80-20 rule. For each subject, we need to find that 20% that gets us the most results and then do it as often as possible. And for most subjects, that 20% is just doing practice questions. I can't tell you how many times I got lazy and when I was studying for a unit test, I decided not to do practice questions. I would tell myself, you know, I'll just go through the content, make notes, maybe make flashcards, and that'll be enough for me to learn all the content that I need to answer the questions. Then when it comes to the actual unit test, I can't answer anything. Covering and memorizing the content is one thing, but having the ability to apply it, that's what separates the top students from the rest. And applying the content you've learned is not something you're born with. I really think it's something that you can improve by doing as many practice questions as possible. Think of your brain as an AI. You train your AI by giving it a lot of data and then it goes through that data and notices patterns and it learns from them. If you then ask it a question, it will give you an answer based on the patterns it saw in the data that you gave it. No matter how advanced or expensive the AI is, if you never train it with good data, it will never give you the desired answer when you ask it a question. No matter how smart we are, if we never do practice questions, we'll never learn how to answer the questions in the exam, even if we have all of the content memorized. But when we do practice questions and we prioritize them, we learn exactly how the exam board wants us to answer the questions. So we answer them perfectly and we get those top grades. And lastly, there has to be sacrifices made. These next two months will probably be two of the most important months of your life so far. So we need to be at our A game. We need to design our lifestyle to make it support us in getting those top grades. Meaning the useless apps that ruin our attention spans, they have to be gone. Firstly, TikTok has to be deleted. There's no two ways about it. It ruins your attention span so you can't even focus and think clearly when you study. There's no benefit in using TikTok for the next two months, even if it's only 30 minutes a day. Also, Instagram could be a huge problem. But I do understand that a lot of people have to stay in touch with their friends and families, including me, which is why I'll completely delete the app. And then every time I want to check my DMs, for example, I'll go on the web browser. And that makes my screen time on Instagram a third of what it used to be. Also, make sure you're still exercising. A lot of people will stop going to the gym or working out when they have exams because they believe that they can study instead. Exercising doesn't only benefit your body, it also benefits your mind. It makes your mind clearer and also increases your mental health, which will only make studying and getting those top grades way easier.